Hello, everybody. Welcome to Angie Baby. We're sat in the uh, air lounge, which you can only be one thing. Yes, Ray, to learn how to do some origami. No, we're not Ray to sample some beer, aren't we? And today we are sampling um, this. This is from the Hook Norton Brewery. Uh, this is off the hook. It's their IPA, coming at 4.3% ABV. It's an English. Old class as an English IPA. Uh, glass. Oh, there's nothing like being prepared, is there? There is nothing like being prepared. Let's get it out of the bottle, into a glass. Um, Hook Norton is a really old brewery. I think it's the come always blows my mind when you think about these dates. I think the, the date back to about the 1840s, 1850s, something like that, which always astounds me because if you think about um, what we class as the Wild West, you know, we used to watch all those Wild West movies, they're based around like the 1880s. So this was like 20, 30 years before all that. It just blows my mind. It's probably just me. It probably doesn't blow anybody else's mind. Just mine. Never mind. Uh, Bear in a glass. That has poured. It's a slightly, slightly hazy. I'm going to call it a, a light amber colour with a small white head. Some very light carbonation happening in there. Right. Let's uh, sniff this, shall we? It's fruity. We've had a few from these this brewery and they've been terrific. It's fruity, there's some orange, a bit of grapefruit. A bit of brady malt coming through. It smells nice, it smells really fruity, really citrusy. Right, uh, taste it. Cheers everybody. Oh, halfway through the week already. Oh, that's nice. That's got a nice tank. Um, full of nice tank. In this year, I've got a really nice um, caramel flavour. Yeah, still got a bit of the caramel in there. Um, but it's that nice citrus kick, which is really lovely. It is citrusy. For me, I'm nice, having trouble placing the citrus fruit I'm tasting. But it's like an orange, it's like, like a lemon, there's a little bit of grapefruit going on in there. And there's a nice little um, light pine note as well. Hang on. You saw I say established on there. Established 1849. Oh, I was a year out, not too bad. 1849. Oops. 1849, these guys have been going for. That's a long time. Like I say, when you think, I don't, I don't know if this blows anybody else's mind, but you think about kind of the Wild West and what we view as the Wild West, if you think about that as like the 1870s, 1880s, this is a good 20, 30 years before that. Strange things like that blow my mind. The other strange thing that blows, or a couple of strange things that blows my mind. Um, everything on this planet, if you think about it, everything on this planet, this glass, this beer, this bit of wood, this bit of metal, cotton that I'm wearing, glasses, um, as is all from this planet. Nothing gets. Things get manufactured, but I think it's manufactured from raw materials that are already on this planet. So, so it all gets used up to, to make all this stuff around us. We don't ship it in from somewhere else, from another planet or, or hidden locker somewhere, or a warehouse somewhere full of stuff. It's all from this planet, which, again, again yeah, that's just another one of those little things that blows my mind. Bring one of those dice there, it. Um, anyway, back to the beer. Lovely, lovely citrus kick to it. Orange, lemon, a little bit of grapefruit. 
Nice little like pine flavour coming from it as, as well. There's a light, dry, bitter finish to it as well. Great fruit in, in the on the finish and in the aftertaste. Like I said, I've had it in the um, I've only had this in the fridge for an hour for uh, before I brought it in. I'm looking forward to getting this ale house redone because I'm going to have a, a fridge, I'm have a proper fridge in here, a little mini fridge for me and my beers and me yeast and stuff. Um, yeah, liked it. Like I said, refreshing, uh, enjoyable. Um, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten for managed beer views. A lot you will have had this. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Um, so yeah, comment, like, subscribe, please. I don't always tell talk shit, uh, but often do. Um, until the next review. Cheers, everybody.